Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Okay, uh, just getting back here with the next uh, with the next installment of the Dark Tower series of, of Stephen King. Uh, in the previous one, we talked about the first three books: uh, uh, the Gunslinger, uh, uh, the Drawing of the Three, and then uh, the Wastelands, which uh, you know where they had a little encounter with uh, you know the Tin Man and. And yeah, North Central Positronics and the whole, uh, uh, you know, the the train and everything, and and so basically we're, uh, <clears throat> you know, we've got a little quartet here, and and so, but the, the the fourth book in the series, which was probably I would have to say, I'd have to say the fourth book in the series is by far my favorite, and uh, you know, uh, that is Wizard in Glass. Uh, which is the fourth book in the Dark Tower series of Stephen King, and this one is uh, they're on the way, uh, traveling, uh, it, you know, down the different paths that eventually lead to, uh, uh, you know, to the tower because uh, the tower is set up on on all these different pathways. There's the turtle and the rabbit and the, uh, you know, but anyways, they're trying to set on these things. <coughs> they're set on this trail and they're heading towards the tower. Well, along the way, uh, they finally set up camp. Okay, and we finally get a huge story from uh, Roland Deschain about um, his backstory uh, in in Wizard and Glass, and it was amazing. I mean, and it, it and this is uh, this is the part where <clears throat> you know, like they're walking around, and, and you know, they finally got everything going, and uh, and they pause. And this is a flashback. In this book, there's a huge... The majority of the book is a flashback to Roland's past. Where he... And I, this is another part I like about it. It's because, man, you get to see some gunfighting in this at the OK Corral, buddy. Uh, well, they're around the campsite, so like I said, but Roland starts telling this tale about when he was a young man. Okay. All the way back to when he was young and of course about his uh, mother and uh, this wizard that was at the castle with his father during the time of his youth and once again more of his training that was going into to being a being a gunslinger and all this stuff and what eventually led Roland to go to one of these uh, 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 Maji's tribes which I guess you could almost attribute it to what it would be modern-day Mexico you know but uh, it, once again, it, it was called something different in the series. Well, eventually they go there, and they're supposed to figure out what's happening with uh, <clears throat> with this with this guy that's been causing trouble. You know, that's been uh, 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 you know uh, with, with this gang of outlaws that's in town, and uh, one of the one of the one of the out, outlaying outposts that his father is is sending Roland out to, to check out. See. And, uh, you know, this gang of, of gunslingers is out there causing trouble. And, and they've got this other masked guy that's kind of a freaky-looking guy uh, that's out there leading these guys, uh, which obviously is, once again, uh, is, is, is the, the bad guy. So it's, it's another deal where, you know, you have, uh, who is this guy? Is he the same guy as the the magician guy? Is this all these same guys? Are are they all the man in black that that first started in the gunslinger? How do all these things kind of? It, it kind of gets confusing. They they've got all these different personalities. They look different, you know. But uh, anyways, like I said, he starts telling uh, in the all about these things and. and and they go into these places and they find an old Exxon logo, uh, once again, about a world that's far gone. Uh, 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 and and, and, uh, and trying to figure out what's going on. And once again, this is in the flashback that Roland's telling. And he, he, meets, this, uh, <clears throat> he meets this girl uh, that's being kept up there with her aunt, you know, and once again. And they, they kind of fall in love. And uh, it's kind of one of those forbidden love type things, and so you kind of have a really nice romance with uh, with Roland and uh, <coughs> and, uh, and and uh, and Joanna and and everything that starts going down, and then uh, 
So you have that going on there. Then you have the gunfighting with, with, with him trying to lure these bad guys into a canyon right there at the last to, 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 to lure them into one of these uh, thinnies, as they've been calling. You know, what I was telling you earlier about uh, the now that the, the tower is crippling, there's these things called thinnies. And if you run into them, then you'll fall in between worlds because the worlds of reality are, are collapsing. Uh, and they never seen them come out again. So, so Roland and his quartet are trying to lure these guys into this canyon where there's a thinny at the end of it, so that they'll and hopefully they'll fall into that thinny, and and they'll be rid of these guys. And so, uh, while they're trying to do that, there's a big fight that's going down. I mean, there's gun shooting. There's, I mean, you know, uh, OK Corral type stuff going on. And in the midst of it, there's a there's an awesome love story, and then uh, you know. Uh, it's really cool and really touching. Uh, there's, so there's the Western coming into the romance a little bit, and then also a little bit of a fantasy series and sci-fi all mixing in here. Really good. And then there's this old rich lady, Rhea, that's out here that has these crystal balls uh, that will come into play big time later on in the series uh, that, that she's looking through that she can see and uh, they go up there and then she causes a ruckus and once again the tragedy strikes and I will I will not ruin this for you but oh man at the end of the flashback sequence of this book with uh, the witch uh, Rhea and and uh, you know how she uses that crystal ball or kind of lures Roland into using that ball and and what happens with the love interest here and Wow, wow, I mean, that just grips you, man, and I, I don't want to even pretend to ruin this. I want you to read this because it will rip your heart out and, and, and stamp on it, but it was a great, Stephen King did this amazing, <clears throat> and then, of course, once again, the, uh, after the flashback, it picks back up with them going back on the road to what will eventually be the, the Kala, uh, which leads into the next books, but, oh, man, Wizard of Glass, uh, in the whole seven book series of the Dark Times, uh, of the Dark Tower, uh, Wizard and Glass, is, uh, the, the fourth installment, is my favorite. And that brings me to the fifth book, uh, Wolves of the Kala. Uh, that's the fifth book of the series uh, of the Dark Tower. And like I said, that picks right up with them after the fourth book. They finally make it to the Kala. There's some things been going on. Uh, uh, these wolves have been attacking the, the, all these different Kala villages and they got to learn all the different languages and and once again the whole elements of the of the North Central Poly Positronics comes back in here and what is that and wh what how did those guys play into what happened to this world and why it's all crumbling and down and and, and, and what are those guys doing to the, to the Dark Tower and, and everything and and then like I said the stand was brought in Okay, uh, in the a couple of books ago, in the last two books, and now Stephen King brings in one of his best sellers, Salem's Lot, uh, with Pastor Callahan, which is an awesome character. So Wolf's of the Kala brings in uh, the whole world of Salem's Lot, and Pastor Callahan is brought into the mix, and he shows up, and how they get him here, what's going on, and how he plays into it and how he gets into these collars and after they go out of the wolves and and then the whole vampire situation comes in and this is kind of where it takes a little like how did this kind of go on and uh, you know so they get these here and the whole story is about them going against the uh, these guys as they're about to enter the village and then there's a big fight at the end here and and uh, and going into these different doors and once again finding out more of the past that you can go into not only different different lifetimes but uh, uh, you know a different people like you could in drawing with the three but now you're going into different different realms and different realities and dragging people back in and then they've got to go back on these things and try to find things and people's out hunting them and and, and, and Eddie and, and Susanna and Roland and 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 and, and and they're all in these different time sets, and, and like I said, in, 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 in different uh, in different realities, and they're all trying to get back, and, and they're still, they're at a chase, and these vampire peoples are after them, uh, the, you know, and some of it ties in from some of Stephen King's uh, short stories, too, that, 
and you know it, it, it really starts gripping you but pastor callahan's in on the action now and and uh and then the last of this is just really awesome with the action and the and the and the robots and, and how that happened there's a big reveal at the end of this and and, and, and do they finally find the factory that's going on that's been controlling these things that's been coming and picking up these people and and tormenting these villages for all these for all this time and uh, you know and uh, that's amazing and then and then you know finally we get into the sixth book which is uh, uh, the the song of Susanna which is uh, and you know once you start getting more into the uh, uh, you know the Su song of Susanna and all of the vampire situations and and uh, the beginnings of this uh, of this uh, what, what will eventually be at the end of this some type of were spider which is kind of where I don't really know where this is going here and then you even have where Stephen King himself writes himself into the in, end of his own book so Stephen King is writing about Stephen King being pulled into his own book series in this part of it where he's all of a sudden in the book himself and doesn't know it and that that's kind of an interesting deal uh, and, and so once again the Crimson King comes and he's in prominent force and everything's going on and, and it's just uh, you know how this is all drawn together is uh, you know they're out in the woods running from everything and and uh, uh, and once again, uh, Susanna plays a big part in this part of it, and uh, they start trying to find their own foundation of the rose and, and building their own tower that's supposed to be a real life uh, to help save the actual dark tower that's supposed to help, uh, you, you know, look like uh, the one in the series, kind of like the rose. You know, remember the rose in the old lot in some of the other books? Well, now they've purchased, they're, they're, they're going to try to purchase the lot and build an actual building there uh, to help preserve the rose slash the dark tower. Trust me, uh, it, if you read these, it, it makes a lot more sense than I do, uh, obviously, in here. And this is where, and, and this book is kind of where Stephen King kind of starts to lose me a little bit because he, he kind of goes off on... You know, Wizard and Glass was great. Wolves of the Collar was 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 pretty good. I like, I like how they put, uh, uh, you know, uh, they're bringing in Salem's Lot, and and then finally you get to the last book, uh, you know, obviously named uh, the Dark Tower, uh, and then of course this book was just, whew, you know, Stephen King. I really think Stephen King rushed this book, and uh, I mean it gets out there to where he he gets. Uh, Several guys from it, the talent, uh, the the talisman books, and and you know, and he's finally getting closer and closer to the tower, and uh, and uh, the Crimson King, and uh, you know, and all this. And I think the, the the death of Robert Jordan really affect, and also getting hit in real life uh, while walking really affected Stephen King, also probably the drugs. And uh, by the time he got to this last book, I think he felt really rushed in hurrying up and getting it out in fear that he might die or something that I, I, I don't think he really gave it the, um, the effort that it should have gotten. Um, and I'm going to leave the ending up to you. There were two different endings. There was the ending where Roland, uh, I mean, where uh, there was the ending where uh, Stephen King says, okay, stop reading here don't read no more and then there's the you can read more if you want and then there's the other ending and and so Stephen King actually gives you a choice if you want the 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 alternate ending or if you want this ending and and so if you I've read both of them and I'm not gonna say I'm completely disappointed uh, there's a few things at the end of the Dark Tower that was a little lackluster um, somewhat disappointing I loved so much of the rest of it and it was so well done that and I feel that certain things were just rushed and, and other things were added to it that just could have been a lot better uh, the series itself I loved it's got some of the greatest tattoos ever on pen interest uh, some of the best graphic novels uh, out there uh, great imagery one of the best images is uh, great artwork in the world is to pick up the you know pick up this series but also go out and pick up the uh, 
uh, you know, pick up the, uh, the graphic novels and the comics because they're outstanding. Some of the best artwork out there. Uh, but, you know, like I said, at the end of the book, there's just, uh, obviously, I think once you read it, I think you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, I think the whole uh, where, where, where spider thing was a little bit out there. Uh, certain elements about the Crimson King was kind of, for me at least, was slightly anticlimactic, especially after investing that much time into it. And here it is. Uh, but, I mean, still yet, I highly recommend that you go out and read the series because it was uh, one of the most innovative things I've read. And it's tied all these different genres and all these different things that Stephen King has spent 20, 30, almost 40 years working, and he tied so many things into it um, that to not give it at least a try w w would, would just not be not be good. Um, but I, I go out and get it. Like I said, uh, it's the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. I highly recommend it, and uh, I hope that you enjoy it. And get the graphic novels too, because I think Dark Horse is still putting them out. And you can even download Dark Horse application on your iPad and uh, and, 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 and read some of them uh, for free. Uh, and I highly recommend that. Uh, anyways, from my bookshelf to yours, uh, this is me signing out. Happy reading.